What's up you guys, it's Tank from New Republic, and today I'm going to do an overview of my workbench, so let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so jumping into the overview of my workbench, this is uh, the pegboard behind my wall. I've got another laser, you can see right there, um, that I'm going to use to point out stuff. But yeah, starting at the top, that's my really big and um, excessive, it's a, like a 500 watt work light that I've mounted to the wall using um, plumber's tape. Uh, it's super bright, it's super hot, but being in this corner, you kind of block yourself from the ceiling fan light, so I had to do something else. And I've also, you can probably see down here at the bottom, there's a light right there, and then there's a light over here. Uh, but yeah, so that one runs, the cord runs over here, and then there's the switch right over there. Um, and then I'll show you later, there's a hole um, over on this right side to the more right where you can't see it, there's a whole power um, power strip and stuff. Uh, I've got two of my helmets um, hanging up. Uh, this is my green setup, just with some extra goggles and stuff. Um, the new Condor face wrap that I just got. And then over here I've got the um, M1 setup, which I'm not even gonna use for my um, Vietnam setup anymore because I'm doing the LRRP and they didn't even really use helmets because um, it's like tiger stripe stuff, so I gotta get a boonie. And that loadout's almost done. Uh, over here uh, is a carry the load banner. Um, if you don't know what carry the load is, it's a memorial march that happens every weekend before uh, Memorial Day and actually into Memorial Day. It's that Sunday and that Monday. Um, it's in Dallas. It's like a 24 hour march. Um, 24 hour and however many minutes. They add more minutes every year. Uh, and then that's who I carried. Um, um, one of my buddies, or the Western Division of New Republic, one of his close friends, I carried him uh, last year. Uh, I actually won't be able to go this year because I'm going to a broken home. S six. Yeah, six. Um, in Oklahoma. Uh, I've got a hammer here. I've got two little things of tape set up over here. On the top, I've got silver duct tape, green duct tape, and then... Uh, just the the tan tape. I forgot what it's called. It's not it's not painters tape, but the, the it's like the tan tape. Uh, on the bottom, I've got another thing of silver duct tape, black duct tape, and then in the front, I've got a roll of gorilla tape, which needs to be replaced because it's almost out. And then on the left side over here, I've got a fine saw, like a as the finer teeth. It's for like metal and stuff. Uh, pretty helpful with airsoft mods. Um, going across to the right side, I've got some. Well, these are some vice grips, uh, three different sizes, the needle nose, and so on and so forth. And then in the back there, those are some extra um, Dremel attachments. Over here, just got some other pliers. This one locks. This one's got some wire cutters on it, just different sizes that I've gotten over the years. Over here, I've got a screwdriver organizer, but it's only got... That one's a motorized. That's a... I forgot the brand. That's like a multi... That's a... <coughs> oh, goodness. It's like a six and it's like a thirteen in one actually. That bottom cap screws open and then there's like uh, different tips and stuff. Um, it's a ratcheting one, which is nice. This is a like precision um, electrical screwdriver, and then this is my mini blowtorch, um, which I can also use to solder. It's nice. It's a pretty. It's a little set. It's a benzomatic, so it's good stuff. Um, I'll show you the set later. I've got it in the in the drawers over here. Uh, moving down, uh, all my other pliers, the needle nose, the baby needle nose, and so on and so forth. Over here, this is my little magnet strip. Uh, very helpful. I probably want to get another one of those just to put all these on there. But yeah, uh, these are um, flathead, flathead, three different sizes and three different sizes of the Phillips. Um, wire cutters and strippers. Um, this is a, it's like a little flint and steel starter. Then this right here are extra bits for um, the different screwdrivers. And then over on the left, this is the last thing I'll do before I readjust the camera. Over on the left, I've got some extra butane. This is what powers the um, baby blowtorch. And then I've got some touch-up paint for my truck in the back. A 50 cal shell, which I got from the Western Division head guy. Um, two different kinds of, three different kinds of lube. Um, different consistencies and stuff. So let's just readjust the camera real quick. Alright, so we'll do the mainly like the middle and bottom here on the left side, and then we'll go to the um, little organizer that I've set up on the right. Okay, so one thing I didn't cover is up here I've got um, 
extra New Republic patches. Uh, there's a whole bunch of those, and then there's a whole bunch on my right wall. Um, if you saw in the patch collection video on the left side, let me see if I can... Right there. The big yellow thing on your left, that's an actual full-size blowtorch. Um, I don't get to use it very often, unfortunately, but I put it in here just because. <clears throat> and then behind that, there's a, um, a small scale, and that's, it, like, measures in, like, grams. It's like an old, like, letter scale that you'd have to, you know, find out for different, um, for how many stamps and such. But I use that whenever I'm, like, weighing things on, like, my helmet to make sure it's perfectly balanced and stuff. Like, weighing the, um, NVG and then weighing the counterweights in the back and all that stuff. Uh, some of this random stuff on the left here. The top gray thing is a pack of paintbrushes. My mom got mad at me because I kept ruining paintbrushes from using, um, spray paint to do, just do it by hand. So she bought me a pack of paintbrushes. And then on the bottom I've got some Xbox games I need to sell, but I don't ever go to the store to do that. Um, over here, this is just a random manual. This right here is a super old file. Uh, it was my grandpa's. It's... I use it for whenever I'm making, like, models. Um, just different, like, you know, little models. Um, whenever you take them out of the, the mold, um, they obviously have the excess plastic, and so that file does justice pretty well. Right there is a, um, it's a maple leaf hop-up bucking that needs to be put in my LM4, but I have yet to go to GI to make Mason do that for me, so yeah. Um, on the left side, I've got a whole bunch of stuff inside that organizer. Let's see, let me read off some of them. Uh, some different metal things, some rails, a whole bunch of rail covers. There's a whole thing dedicated to fuses right there. Um, hop-up stuff, different buckings and stuff, more rails. Uh, a lot of this is like rail covers and then um, uh, gas parts for the MP7, like the LM4, that kind of stuff. Moving across, I have some speakers set up. Um, just kind of helps me whenever I'm bored working to listen to some music. The uh, aux cord comes out. Where is it? Like right over there, -ish, if you can see that. Um, this is one of the other lamps right here. This is the base of it right there-ish. And then I've got a whole bunch of different eye pro on it, um, especially when I'm dremeling or, you know, doing anything that could have parts flying. I like to protect my retinas. Um, and then also if I'm going to go over and test a gun outside or, you know, in the house or whatever, I've got some eye pro right there that I can easily get. And then on the bottom, um, you can see there's a couple of survival bracelets that I've just collected over the years that I put there. This is the little baby um, FMA uh, targets. Um, it's a set of like six. They're super small. When I bought them, I thought they were gonna be like full size, um, but it explains why they were so cheap. To the right, I've got <clears throat> two, um, black plastic bins and then another one that has that little like green, yellow looking thing. It has nails in it. I have no idea how that got in here, but it did. The nails aren't even good. They're super thin. Um, the little black, um, parts trays just help whenever I'm taking apart a gun to organize. This is just a little, um, my goodness. Like a pin organizer. That black thing in the middle, you can't see my laser. I'm going to put it right there. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got some in the back. I've got like cutting tools, so it's like scissors and a box cutter. And then in the front, I've got like a uh, black Sharpie, silver Sharpie, <clears throat> a maroon Sharpie, a uh, mechanical pencil, and then just a regular pencil. And then in the front there, I've got a Zippo. I've got some just regular plastic tape. Looks like a key ring and a random magnet. Um, over on the right side, right there, that's like my um, sewing setup. Um, it's just a spool of black thread and uh, tan thread. And then inside the, uh, I think it's inside the black um, spool, is um, a needle um, and then a bunch of, well, a bunch of um, one sewing needle and then a bunch of the other needles that have the little yellow thing on the end to help hold fabric together. Um, those little two parts organizers right there. Um, the left one has a bunch of batteries in it, so it's got double A's, triple A's, um, and then there's a 9 volt in there, because that was what I used to use on the, um, old, um, box mag for my 249 before I sold it. On the right side, I've got, um, a super glue, nice and keeps it organized in there. Over here on the right side, um, I'll go a little bit deeper into this, because some of this stuff, um, goes inside of here. But, the um, that's for my LiPo smart charger, and then that's just my regular smart charger that I just keep out. Um, and then by the way, these two switches, there's a switch right there, and then there's a switch over there. Um, those are for the lamps. And then the other speaker is right there. 
And so I'm just going to readjust the camera so I can show you the right side. So I'm actually just going to turn on my um, big light so you can see how bright it is. And also just because I'm causing shadows now because I'm um, blocking the light from the ceiling fan. So um, right up here is a switch that I was talking about. And then that activates the big um, work light. And then I've got still have the um, small um, Ikea lights. These are nice because they're bendable. So if I need to like, you know, look in some weird angle, I can totally do that. But yeah. So going over this, um, on the right side up here, you can see the um, power strip that I was talking about that has um, has an iPhone charger. It's got the two um, IKEA chargers and it's got an extension IKEA chargers. The lamp, the lamp cords, <laughs> the bigger um, work light cord, and then it's got an extension cord plugged in it right now. Um, going over this randomness on the top here on the left i've got the radio charger so i've got the these are the motorola's that i used to use but they never really worked so i don't use them anymore and now i've got the um the big old bay thing uv5r set up there charging um inside of here i've got a whole bunch of randomness on the left side it's um there's like some precision screwdrivers that there's an ar wrench sticking out um there's some hex screws or not hex screws uh, I can't think of the name right now, I'll come back to it. <laughs> Exacto knives, um, little ratcheting set. And there's some precision screwdriver stuff in the back there. That's like a thing that you can use, like, here, I'll just show you real quick. This is if you're, it's mainly for like computer stuff. If you, it like opens up and then you can grab stuff. Um, I don't ever usually use it for airsoft, um, but yeah. Uh, anything, oh god, um, just a whole bunch of randomness here on the top, there's like a magnifying glass, there's different magnets and stuff, but, you know, whatever, um, if on the top here, no, stick, no. this is, I got a chronograph here, this is stuff for the heat shrink, um, which this also goes along with the mini blowtorch, this is the little soldering attachment, and I've got my sponge and solder all in there. Um, this really fancy level. Ooh. And it's actually got a screwdriver on there too. Multi-purpose. Uh, different 9 volt adapters. Um, this is stuff from the 5.7 whenever I took off the flash hider and cut the barrel. Extra counterweights and perfectly non-rusted condition uh, for helmets. Um, there's some O-rings, um, speed out. This is for um, stripped screws. Um, works pretty well. I think that's about it for there. Moving down a row, I'm jamming. This is more of like, all of this is like different sizes of plastic bags. Um, and then a lot of this is like sewing stuff. I've got some reinforced hosing here. Um, silicon oil. This is different trim. And then this is some tan Velcro and some black Velcro. And then over here I've got the clear sticky Velcro. And then I've got some, I don't even know where the, I think the black one, did it go in there? Yeah, no, that's, that's elastic. I lost... The, I had a roll of the same thing as the clear one, but um, in black. I don't know where it went. I think it got lodged underneath the... Oh, it's stuck behind the... Whatever, it's it's lodged in the back. Um, so that'll be fun to get out. Okay. Okay. In the bottom here, I've got my Dremel which I've had forever, still runs. And this is the um, LiPo charger that I was talking about that needs to be plugged in. I just keep it out, uh, it gives me more workspace. This is a bunch of extra Elite Force um, 1911 magazine parts. I bought the rebuild kit for one of the mags that I got used. And then this is a bunch of extra parts, so if anything else breaks. I've got a magazine lip, um, some valves, and the little tool that they give, the spring guide. A spring spring guide, um, output nozzle. Yeah, uh, I got a LiPo balance charger, which I totally never use. Oh, here's the thing. Um, this is the um, 
Velcro, it must have finally came out. Let's put that back up there. Stay. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of random zip ties back here. This is green. I got a set for Christmas a couple years ago. I've gone through most of them. Uh, here's a set of tan. But yeah, I've got a ruler underneath here. <laughs> Always nice to have. And then this is a letter that I got from Novrich whenever he sent the patch. Um, I will show you that it is from Novrich, but I'm not going to show you my address. Novrich. And then over here on the right side, see if I can do this any other way better. Whatever, you can know that I live in the United States. But not my, okay. Here, that's better. Um, that is Mr. Novrich right there. Um, yeah. And then now I think we're just gonna move down to um, the drawers on the bottom, just the extra stuff that I have in there. Okay, so now we're gonna go over um, the drawers. Um, what this workbench actually is, is it's an old dresser um, that I just, I cut the three middle drawers out over here that you can see, um, and then I could put a chair underneath there, because originally it was just the dresser, and then I had the chair like in front of it, but then I can never get like underneath it, you know, it was just awkward. I was sitting on the side. Um, but yeah, and then I, this is an Ikea bar stool, and the legs are cut down, um, and then we put um, different Ah, uh, words are hard. The little rubber things on the bottom that you put your chair on so it doesn't scratch your floor. Because whenever we cut the metal, it was, you know, sharp, and so we wanted to cover it. Uh, this is my little shop towel. Uh, helps whenever I'm moving up stuff. This is a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I've got a boonie hat, or not a boonie hat, a fleece hat in here when it's cold. This is a... Uh, just a standard, what's well, like a camo um, bandana. This is a yellow bandana from Operation El Inferno when I fought on the yellow side. Um, what else is in here? This is stuff that I got from a trade that he gave me a random motor thing on, a uh, motor grip cover thing. Let's see. This is a whole bunch of Ranger vans. Um, I buy them in the bulk, and so it's three different sizes in there. Much cheaper if you buy them in the bulk. Um, I've got, I think I've got three of these in total. I think I have a black one in here somewhere, maybe. Actually, I actually don't think I do. Uh, green and tan, these are little stubby grips. I don't know, I think they're Matrix or something. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, random cheap ACOG that doesn't magnify, and it's just a red dot. Um, fake NVG. I've got two of those. Here's the other one. This is the higher one, higher quality one. This one's metal, uh, except the cover came off. Um, BBs. <laughs> This is stuff from a, um, from the Emerson uh, helmet. This is the ones that you squeeze and you can move them. I don't know what their purpose is, but they always give them to me. This is an NVG mount for a rail. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, quick release foregrip. This came with the um, BNT GL40 grenade launcher, the standalone that I showed in the Airsoft Collection video. Here's the cover for the NVG. Um, the front of an Imbus Gen 2, I think. Uh, MP7 mag that's broken. This is a super old one because the lip is metal. Um, a, uh, high power bolt for an MP7. This is my, um, T1 that's on my MP7, the box. Um, micro dot. Uh, NC Star. Some pretty good sights. Uh, full size, um... Reflex sight. Uh, these are old Ranger bands, or not Ranger bands, um, helmet bands. Um, the only difference with these is that they say TFF whenever I was on TFF before I made New Republic, so these are the old ones. Front sight that I got on a field of D14 that I just kind of grabbed. Um, a QD mount for a rail. A rear sight for an M4. Um, I've got two of these 45 degree offset rails. I thought they were the coolest thing when I bought them. They still are pretty cool. A, um, G36 flash hider that doesn't kind of thread, but it's whatever. I was trying to make a black to save money, but it doesn't really thread, so I gotta buy a new one. This is for, um, ATPs. It's just a rail. Screws on the bottom one. 
This was supposed to go to the Western Division guy, but I totally forgot. This is your front sight, or here, Adam, if you're watching this, this goes on the bottom, and this gives you your front point sling attachments. I swear I put this in your box, but I guess I didn't. Okay. This is a um, rail mount for a Mac 11. Here's a bipod. That was exciting. This is a helmet mount for the MVG, but it doesn't ever stop swiveling, so I don't know how to fix that, so it's not on my helmet. Um, a AFG, angled AFG, um, two, Macbull, OD Green. Another um, rail mount, oh my goodness, another rail mount for MVG. Got a lot of crap. This is, man, I should sell this. This is for um, the CYMA um, CM030, the electric Glock. This is the rail for it, and then I cut it because if you just put on the rear one and then you can put on that little um, reflex sight, um, it's pretty cool. Let's see here. Uh, this is the um, button for the um, GMP G2 flashlight that I have on the MP7. Um, I don't have this on the flashlight now because I have the pressure switch on there right now. Uh, cheap um, foregrip. This is an APS ACP barrel um, with the thread adapter. I was trying to put it inside the um, KWA ATP so that I could have threads, but it didn't really work. Grenade shell. Okay. This is the um, suppressor that I mentioned in the. Um, whenever the, the, the little GNG nub, this is the suppressor that comes over the built in mock suppressor. Um, I, uh, this is actually a Knight's Armament, um, uh, foregrip, so a high quality foregrip. I've got a lot of foregrips. My, uh, whenever I used to make random stuff homemade, this is a, um, a rail riser. That I took an old red dot mount and then I think I hot glued, or super glued, this plastic rail on top. It works well, but it's just cheap. Oh my goodness, okay. This is just a red dot. I don't even know how I got this. Hey, look, that's me. Hi. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the stock flash hide that's on the MP7, and then this is the WE one that I bought that you like listed wrong on the threads, and they still haven't given me the refund for that. I should probably email them. This is the, uh, I used to carry this around. It's a, it's a magnifier. It's a game winner. I bought it at Academy. Um, it's, this is the adjustable one. Um, pretty nice, it, you know, focuses and stuff, but uh, kind of pointless because I don't ever usually do that. It's mainly for like spotting stuff. It'd probably be more useful like a milsim, maybe like a Broken Home 6. This is a um, helmet rail mount in black. Oh, goodness, there's random screws at the bottom. This is for um, on the back of M4s where you put the buffer tube in the receiver that covers that little hole on the bottom. But I don't have that one on my JG because I have a one point attachment now. A super cheap um, uh, foregrip. This is, I call it my safety glove. Um, it's whenever I'm working with just anything that's hot, it's just, you know, an extra layer of protection. It's just an old uh, UCP glove. Um, this is for my um, antenna, my um, mock antenna. It holds it together for, so it doesn't like fling out the trifold one. Uh, and in the back here, this is a super old, um, for the super long subscribers, this is a, it's a UTG, um, uh, scope. This was the old scope that I had on my, um, L96. It, so, if any of y'all are super old fans, you'll recognize that. Okay, moving on very quickly, because this video is now going to be like 18 years long. Moving down a little bit more. Uh, I've got stocks. This is a standard um, LE stock with some paracord on it. It's just not paracord, it's just string. The, I don't know what brand of stock this is. I got it with the Mark 18 trade. Uh, it's got this cool little thing where you can put stuff in the back to hide from the enemy, maybe like some Skittles. Um, a super cheap PQ. Um, actually looks pretty good, but not until you get close. Look, it has a button. That was exciting. Um, there's a, an M4 rail. This was for the KWA. Oh, it's an SR10. I was telling people it was an SR15 or something. 
uh, yeah, it's cable way rail. Uh, this is that, these are the super cheap red dot I was talking about that had the scope riser mount. That's this, uh, it's super cheap. This is a front sight, no, yeah, front sight post, um, and a gas block. Another cheap red dot. And then in the bottom here, I've just got like random parts and stuff that I use for like, like I think, <laughs> I think, I think it'd be cool to make like a weird muzzle break out of this, like drill a hole there and something like that. Um, I've also got like extra crazy glue and extra Gorilla Tape down here. And then um, the Dremel box is down here too. But yeah, we're going to look over one more thing. Okay, so now we're on the right side. Um, over here, a whole bunch of spray paint and stuff. Oh, it's called masking tape. Oh, this is the yellow one, but the tan one, it's called masking tape. Um, I've got some yellow duct tape, some white duct tape, um, some more lighter fluid. This is my backup for my backup. Uh, these are a bunch of, I've got infrared red chem lights and then I've got, um, actual red chem lights. I dropped that, I don't care. Yeah, here's one of the infrared ones. Ta-da. Uh, yeah. Bought those by mistake. And then over here, I've got a heat gun. Which is pretty helpful for taking off, um, flash hiders. It's like three to five minutes on each side. Flip it over three to five minutes. Um, and then you can just screw off your... Um, flash hider just melts the inside of the, um, the glue. And then over here I've got my extra rolls of Gorilla Tape. And that's about it. There's some random wiring. Oh, and then, by the way, that right there is a vacuum that I use to clean up my workbench. And then this is, um, extra filters for the vacuum. But yeah, I'm going to try to wrap this up now. Sorry this became a rambling video, but maybe you found it educational. So yeah, tell me what's your favorite tool that I have and what you think I should add in the comments. But yeah, God bless. Watch the video from Wednesday, and we'll see you guys in the next video.